I have no idea what's happening. That's fair. So yeah, I know what you mean. Same with the, the other stage. Even if you couldn't tell where the corners were, there was another stage that they released where it's just like, man, it kind of gives me emotions. Like, oh, the Rashid. Rashid. Plane stage. I did get, I'm not gonna lie, I did get dizzy. Yeah, I think it's fine when I play it, but it's weird when I watch it. Dang, that four medium kick was great. I feel like Knuckles oh, has a weird style of Mika. One thing about him is that he forces the dash and the jump a lot. One thing that he's like really like consistent about, man, sticking out that crouching medium punch. Chris Wong taking a page out of Knuckles D Dang's book. Right? I hate it when they cut the two punches. The whole thing? I, I keep thinking of Smug. Knuckle Doo Dang. Knuckle Doo Dang. Dang of Medias. Dang of Medillas. Is that what they call him? Double sides? Net front of the L, yeah. Dang of Medillas. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Smug is a treasure. That guy is the best. Our drop kick keeps the pressure pretty safe. Knuckle Doo's down. He already spent his V trigger, which I like spending early. Chillin', he's just waiting it out here. On the ground, medium punch. Confirm, yes sir. Yeah, pressure was really safe again. I, Knuckle Dude's not committing to too much. V-reversal. Knuckle Dude almost also has another V-trigger, by the way. Try to get that throw. Maybe a back throw. Yeah, Knuckle Dude's a hand. Test the neutral jump just in time with Chris Wong. That was perfect. Placing it just in the right time. Yeah, you can just sense it. Sometimes you can feel like this has gone on too long. The drop kick is coming. I know he's going to do it sooner or later. It's soon. Wow. Ooh, all the way down, caught the tail end of that, what was that, Crouch Pierce? Yeah, Crouching Heavy Punch. That was wild. Command. Out of there. No, he's still chasing down. Drop it. Lady Mika, double time. Ugh. To the next corner. I think he gets Giant Swing might stun, or regular Giant Swing's pretty good, too. Oh. Ooh, he thought it was going to be stunned. Wow, quadruple dash. He was flying across the screen. Mix up in the Same front. side. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I that's good. I thought it would be like medium kick dash, right? It would probably be on the other side with Woo, call out from Knuckle Dew. <gasps> that was beautiful too. Didn't go for the command throw right away. You saw Chris Wong got hit by the second hit, probably trying to jump, and then that's when he brought out the giant swing. Yeah, that's a rough spot to be. Light, light punch giant swing or EX giant swing has huge range. It's like the command throw distance is afterwards. Alright, EX uppercut. We haven't seen too much of that yet from Chris Wong. And these drop kicks from Knuckle Dude in the and front. The body splash. Give him a nice back throw from Chris Wong. Yeah, he got hit by the jab actually. But the uh, forward heavy punch uh, didn't end up clipping him after. He he got... to walk him down. Yeah. I don't know. You might be right. Try to get the soul bot once again. Again, back to back. back Got to be careful actually too because uh, counter him forward medium kick. The soul bot is a rough spot to hit right now. Critical art. That's nice. a punish. In the front. Nadeshko. Yeah, Nadeshko was saving the day on that one. Went for the splash again. Do bang in deep trouble. Actually, death. I think we'll great. see. I think we'll see a character switch. Is my theory here. I think we might see G. Is Man, you see the shakes on Chris Long. He actually. Sorry, was that? Woo, woo, woo. Character select? It be do. The thing is, is like. Do that? It, it be do dang. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, in this case, you know, Knuckle Dude has a lot of characters. If we see a button change for him, too, I imagine it's because he's switching. Yeah. He probably has different commands for different characters. I got it. He is. You gotta, you gotta optimize the way the pad. Uh, you know what's funny? I actually, um, I, I know I've seen some of the pad players uh, switch up their buttons. I thought, just to kind of, just for example, I thought Punk would change up his buttons as well, but no, he plays on deep. The only thing oh, yeah. he has, he changes the left side to like certain commands. Everything yeah. else is default. Whereas I think Knuckle do, he has, it's weird, it's like his X button is short, which is normal, but his square is the one that's medium kick, so it's going upwards rather than uh, I see what you mean. vertically rather than horizontally. Wow. With the button layout. I might be wrong, because I swear I've seen one of the pad players do that. I think it was Knuckle Dude. Maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. But I, I think he remapped the shoulder buttons. We couldn't, oh, I couldn't yeah. really tell, but yeah, I think that's, I a, that's a given for sure for some of the pad players. Yeah. It's I, easy to just... I think people put like V-Trigger and like... Maybe something else on there, like triple kick or something. I don't know. There's probably a few things that you could map there. I guess V trigger or V skill. Mm -hmm. I know so, some like map uh, throats so that they they don't have like a bad habit of like pressing the two buttons. To, like, yeah. Instantly Yeah, Knuckle Dude has a weird style of G too. I feel like watching him play any character is just like he has his own take on everything. 
A lot of like moves that are auto spaced down and strings where he just wants to like try to whip punish you trying to hit button after. That's a lot of the ground game he plays with this character. Is that what makes his like style so particularly odd? Like the way he's playing like, the spacing of his normals are just the timing of his normals? Yeah. It's gonna he's... make you think like, oh he's throwing off his normals, I'm gonna whip. Yeah, and I, like it's not only just that, but like the way he he doesn't really I feel like he doesn't do what everybody else thinks he's good all the time. He's like, I just can do my own thing in the front. Nice punish. <laughs> Takes the level. Oh! Big punish? I think that's... Down conversion? This is Dizzy here almost. Future Girl activate. Instant over head. Oh! oh. Empty low! Knuckle do building some bar! What a comeback! Man, he was down... There's a pixel! He blocked one uppercut and he knew what he had to do. He had to do the Knuckle do dang and jump over empty low. Nice anti -up. Man, G's crouching he heavy punch. That, if you are playing a character and you don't know how to uppercut, you should play G and hit crouching heavy punch. Or yep. birdie and hit crouching medium punch. Man, those two normals, those specific yeah. normals hit so far beyond the character's stance or the hurt box as well. It's so I'm jealous. Crazy. I love characters with fantastic grounded normals. Even that, like the raw dash punch, I feel like that's such a knuckle dude thing. It's like so weird the way he plays the ground game. Yeah, try to hit fierce after that. Chris Wong not having it. Walk back, standing light kick buffer. G's lights are some of the best in the game to buffer into his dash punch or EX dash punch. They're both really good. Back dash out of the you pressure. See right there, yeah. you see a crouch jab. The short, the short wave. Try to jump in over the fireball. Wow. Medium kick. I think you try to combo off that. I think you can get crouching jab after uh, counter hit standing medium kick. But of all the buttons to press. Yeah, I don't think that was the plan. He's playing the bomb? Is this the F word? Double side <laughs> switch? Dang! Let's it worked! Alright, putting the bomb on the map. I didn't even notice he was playing the bomb. Chris Wong. Wow, I didn't know that the hot dog goes on top of the top hat. Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. seen that before. It would be funny if the hat kind of impaled yeah. the hot dog. That would have been kind of funny. That would be cool. It's like a skewer. Would it be like a kebab at that point? Kind of, yeah. Nice buffer. Again, that's the normal you talk about. That crouch jab being able to confirm it, or at least buffer it. One of the better buffers. Good read. Yeah, I think the, the command throw is pretty likely there. Delayed it a bit in case he went for the uppercut. I like that. Yeah, still jumping out. Caught only the beginning part of that kunai, not getting locked down. I like that beast skill you should stop that kunai. That was pretty cool, actually, yeah. Jumps out of there. He made it out of the corner and he holds up back. He's jumping away. He's setting the space and for himself. Not to do that and trying to apply this pressure. Forcing Chris Wong into this corner by walking him down. I'm really impressed with Chris Wong's patience, actually, too. I feel like he hasn't gotten too antsy against G. There's the command throw. If you don't get too antsy, not to do anything to take advantage of that. Right? He went for the command grab back to back. He can kill, yeah. Spend the bar. Light him up. That'll do it. It does so much. Damage. Every single time, I think to myself, He's got a lot of life. He might just be. Oh, he's dead. That'll do, gang. That'll do. Right, one for one. Nice. And again, you saw it from Chris. Like he wasn't gonna be too antsy. Knuckle Dude took side of that. He's like, I'm gonna do what I should have done. Yeah. He jumped it, I think, once or twice, and then Knuckle Dude was like, okay, well. I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. And the one thing is, this is very similar to how he plays Mika. When he plays G, he will jump splash himself into the corner. Because he knows after the splash it's a 50-50. Mm -hmm. And his like decision making in those moments is really good. He's a very feel based player, Knuckle Deuce, so like I think he's totally willing to just gamble it like that, because that's just how he does things. The same thing with his guile, like he'll do dash up upside down kick. Like the way I he plays. Hate it when that happens too, because you wanna press the button, you wanna check him on the way over, which is what you should be looking out for. But then it's just you blink and upside down kick. It's just coming straight to you. Just, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, switch on over the VT2 free Buki and the Monster Hunter outfit. I do like the Monster Hunter. That was cool, actually, yeah. I haven't seen that V trick in a while. We all have it. The only person, as you mentioned, was yeah, F1. He's the only person that uses it. More power to him, honestly. No. It got buffed. Get with the times, man. <laughs> it got buffed! <laughs> it's like. It's got damage. This is a Kieran armor, I'm pretty sure, for Monster Hunter. This is a unicorn. What is this? What is this sword? Uh, I think that's the Kieran Longsword. It's either Kieran Longsword or Greatsword. I think that's the Longsword, actually. Nice whiff on it. Didn't cancel the upper, though. And see, that's what I mean. Whiffs the wheel kick and then buffers the light kick after. That's like a very knuckle dude. He likes doing that and like also whiffs and then buffering fears. And that's so hard to even try to contest as knuckle dude jumps over uh, with the splash, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, I think the same reason he likes maybe the Mika jump splash to throw off the air timing so that it's hard to do that. Wow, what a 
sneak under with a dash. Yeah, on top of that with G, it kind of like opens his hurt. Oh, he finally got the anti-air. All right. Yeah. I think he pushed himself a little bit forward. He was already walking forward and anticipating Knuckle Dude trying to jump out of that. I think you're right. Yeah. And then, as he's holding forward, since the side switch happened, he just has to press the Yeah. He's going to get back to And Knuckle Dude is just held up out of the corner every time. Like, That's true. Yeah. yeah, he just doesn't want to be there. Jump works out this time. Risk reward. Pays off. Blocks. Oh, my. Counter hit combo. That wasn't even reversal, by the way. He delayed that. Oh, he tried to command throw, but the 12 long frame. He got thrown for it. Waiting. He's just chilling. He's waiting for any kind of whiff punish. Waiting for that uh, V trigger activation from Ibuki. Jump it. Oh. Looks low. He's chilling. Oh, okay. That could have been whiff punish. Yeah, he could have just done raw V trigger. Fujimura would have chucked that thing. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, there it is. is. Yeah, got the activation off the confirm, low forward. What you got here, Chris Wong? 50 50. Nice block from Knuckle Dude, dang. Oh, I don't know what that was. It might have been an input for it, ESP9 in the air. Yeah, but that V-Skill is probably calling that out anyway. Uh, so that's probably what he's looking for. You die in one buffer here. Big time. Okay, Jason. Yeah, back that just again to get air reset. And that'll do with V-Trigger. Closes the gap with the Kunai falling behind. Got the mix. Where was the cancel from Chris? Oh, and the mix. It's still there. It's still part of the whole ordeal. He was just waiting. He was like, I'm going to throw in this overhead. You're not going to see it coming.